welcome back to my channel my name is Ami Ami I am the mystic rugrat and this is the Amiverse we are back with a tarot video y'all have a beautiful message today so let's go ahead and get into it the first card that I pulled I pulled two cards initially okay we have the six of wands okay I don't know if y'all know about the six of wands energy but this is all about success a big monumental moment that is literally going to catapult you like into this big ass boss babe that you've been working to be that you've been striving and thriving to be right all your hard work is paying off now let's get deeper because this is beautiful energy but there's more around this okay we also have the card take a shot okay and on the back it says don't take 12 take or it says don't take 12 take one okay maybe two move on now if you notice back here in the back of the card in the background you'll see there are a couple friends or people that seem to be supporting this woman in this card you know like i said before this is a moment of victory this is a moment of celebration you are being celebrating or celebrated you are celebrating yourself um let's look into the energy that is surrounding you okay because i feel like in this time you are elevating but the people around you might be staying stagnant okay and that's for a reason so let's go ahead and get into the surrounding energy for the collective Sorry. six of wands go right off the bat you've worked hard like you've been through a lot you've conquered a lot you've changed a lot okay mental clarity i mean wow i feel <laughs> i low-key like i feel like crying you know like for some of us it's like oh my god this is a long time coming thank god like i'm so thankful i just see a woman on her knees just like thank god thank god just screaming just thank god just hands in the air just thank you thank you in disbelief of what is being presented here maybe there's a surprise like something is happening suddenly this is beautiful and you're rooted like the foundation is laid you see how the red is on her shirt and the red is also on her foot that's the root chakra mm. <sighs> wow very beautiful okay so we have three of wands in reverse mm. queen of wands okay so I'm picking up on an energy a feminine energy this is not your energy but people persons or one person surrounding you all right and we have the three of wands in reverse followed up with the queen of wands so the way that i'm interpreting this is see let me just explain the queen of wands it is a powerful woman she's a beautiful woman she's a radiant woman um she can manipulate she can give power take away power she is the it girl she's the boss babe that i mentioned earlier that boss chick um a lot of women envy her a lot of women tend to be jealous of her um she's great at luring men um things come easy to the queen of wands right she has that wisdom that je ne sais quoi you know just all those things she really captures people with her beauty though and she's smart as well but the queen of wands leads with her beauty because she can well we're talking about a queen of wands that powers aren't working at this moment or a queen of wands that is envious of 
this woman in the six of wands because she's getting recognition she's getting attention you know people are looking at her Ooh, ah wow and this queen of wands is used to getting that attention so wait hold on a second like i know what she just did was great and everything but y'all forgot about me you know it's it's given very much jealous okay and these are one of the women that you have walking alongside of you so it's time to check the energy of our friends in this reading so let's get a little bit deeper mm. wow <laughs> not so, okay so we got two cards that flipped over we have the hermit card and we also have nine of pentacles y'all <laughs> When I tell you this bitch is jealous of you just fucking existing, <clears throat> I don't know why I also feel like you used to be fat. I'm going to just say, and I'm not going to, you know, censor the words. Um, and you've lost a lot of weight. Your skin has gotten clearer. People are noticing you. You're getting a lot of attention. So it's deeper than just like all your hard work paying off, blah, blah, blah. This woman is beginning to hate your goods. But I just felt I had to I had to say that real quick. So back into these cards, the Hermit mode. This person is your friend, quote unquote friend, right? They've been around, right? And I do want to say before I begin to these cards, this is not the first time that this woman has showed her hand. You all have been friends for quite years. Like it's given childhood friend type shit. Now y'all grown and grown grown like 30s grown and you know true colors are being shown okay so let's go ahead and get into these cards we have the hermit mode and we also have the nine of pentacles so like i said she's been around she's been watching you she's been watching you take your time with this business she's been watching you go through these no good ass men she's she's been there she she knows who you are like to the core of you and she's seen you change where does this change come from who does she think she is blah 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 because you've been working hard on yourself okay now i know that this is nine of pentacles and we go straight to money yes you have a successful life you've worked successfully but we've already talked about that or you've worked towards your success we know that okay so don't think money right now. This is how hard you have worked for your confidence. You know, your self-confidence. You know thyself. You have went within and, and, and with a spiritual magnifying glass. You, you, how do I say this? You catered, you, 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 you clean those wounds. You identify those wounds. There we go, Spirit. Thank you. And then you tend it to those wounds. Like, legitly. You know, like, I don't like this about myself. I could do better in this area. You know, I want better self-confidence. I want a better body. You know, I want to feel good about myself. And you really went within and did that fucking work, y'all. This is beautiful. I'm so proud of y'all. Oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all, I'm emotional for y'all. Like, I'm emotional. I feel like crying. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, this girl has us fucked up. Like, <sighs> life has had us fucked up. And you made it, sis. You made it, brother. Like, from the pits of hell. When I'm, you dealt with depression. You dealt with abuse on all the levels. Spiritual, mental, physical, emotional abuse. You know, all your life, people have told you, oh, you're fat, oh, you're this, oh, you're that. People have made fun of you um, about your spirituality. Oh, she, she's a demonic witch, you know. She's into this, she's into that. Um, don't listen to her, she's demonic. Oh, she's a whore. Oh, he's a womanizer. He ain't shit. Oh, da, 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 whatever. You made it through all of that. And more so... A lot of these naysayers were people in your own family. Like, just weird shit. And this might be a family member, okay? 
this doesn't have to be a friend. You apply it to your situation, right? But anyway, there is a lot of envy and jealousy, okay? And Nine of Pentacles is all about the fruits of your labor coming into fruition, working off, like paying off. And like I said, that's what this woman, this feminine energy, this person is is envious of. They're like, hell no, we won't go. Like, the it needs to be about me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the spirit of Oshun is there. You see the sunflower. You know, this is a woman that, she she's gorgeous, this friend or this family member. But you can't be gorgeous too. Like, <laughs> I feel like this girl was way more insecure than you ever were. You know, some people love when you need them or like when they, some people love when people need them. Some people love having that fat best friend. Some people love having that less attractive friend. You know, so how dare that friend glow up and start getting more attention than me? You feel me? Oh, okay. So we got cards flying out. We have the High Priestess energy and we also have Mother Regeneration. Look at you. Look at you. You went within and you <laughs> you recharged. You're enlightened. Look at this. Look at this bolt coming from her forehead or coming from her head. Sorry. That's the crown chakra. Like, girl, I'm enlightened at this point. I don't have time to be dealing with this mess. Like, I don't have time. Um, I even get the energy of you calling people out on their shit, you know, telling people how you feel. And let's let's see, let's see what's coming up that energy because y'all might not even be friends anymore. Okay, something definitely happened. This both this came out in reverse to both the cards. All right. Someone's fighting like someone's playing with fire here. Okay. Someone really has you fucked up. This person wasn't even super deep into the whole spiritual world, tarot readings, all that. This was actually something that they made fun of you for. You remember they were calling you a voodoo witch and you're demonic and all that? Why are you getting tarot readings on me then? And I'm speaking for y'all. Like, they have us fucked up. Why are you the very... I thought I was demonic. Oh, but you getting you getting tarot readings on me now? Tarot readings on me now? Really? Okay. Um, this woman. <laughs> this woman has went to some willy nilly ass tarot reader, and it's nothing against the tarot reader, but. They just picked anyone. And she asked them to do work on you, but they realized that they can't do work on you. Like they checked into your energy and it's like, oops, nope, you're not welcome here. And they're like, oh, hell no, nah. this bitch is crazy. But they still took the money. More so when this person sold the seeds into being sneaky and trying to see what you're up to or trying to, I don't know, maybe even put, you know, do some work against you, some spiritual work against you. There was, there was a money exchange, like some spiritual work being done against you. Like here, give, I'll give this for the exchange of you doing this to her, hurting her emo emotionally, physically, making her sick, um, you know, taking her money away from her. 
like a, a but it was a reversal thing like she sowed a seed to take you down but in return she's being taken down this envious woman so like bitch what do you really think that you were doing here like i'm divinely protected you don't fuck with god's children like did you think this was a game you thought i was fake psychic you thought i was fake empathic you thought i was a fake spiritualist you thought all the altars and shit that was just for aesthetics i really does this So now, this person, this Queen of Wands, who has it all together, is now lacking, is now going through the same depths of hell that we talked about that you came from. Now they're going into that. How ironic. Definitely tear this person out of your energy if you're still holding on. I don't see why you would still be in contact with this person. Um, but you are a sweetheart. You are a good person. You are literally the light. Like, you're a very sweet, very humble, and forgiving person. However, there's boundaries and lines. And if someone is doing spiritual work against you, we can't come back from that. I'm sorry, we can't. And, um... Yeah, release this person from your energy and do not look back. Congratulations on all the success that you have coming your way. And unfortunately, when we are being catapulted into success, when we are, you know, upgrading, so to speak, reaching new heights, naturally you're pulled away from people that you once loved. Naturally, things occur. That way you can be pulled away from these people and um and um thrown more towards or you know pushed towards more people that align with what you have going on in life align with your spirit um have the same goals aspirations likes and dislikes you know um you're finding your soul your soul people right and it's not that these folks that you're gradually being pulled away from now that they were bad for you not all of them but you grow apart when you elevate your mind you're, you know you're no longer on that mental state you don't share the same mental frequency anymore so naturally you align yourself with people that you do it's all right um if you notice that you just Notice that everyone's still doing the same old thing. Talking about the same old thing. Every day it's the same old thing. And you want different, you're doing different. Every time you try to bring up new ideas and all this, nobody went, oh, it sounds good, but nobody really is trying to mess with it. You know, it could be a group of friends. It could be a group of family that y'all are all super close and, you know, you talk about all your dreams and aspirations. Instead of just talking about it, you did it though, but they didn't. And now they're envious and they're jealous and they're talking to each other, you know, in a circle, um, throwing stones at you, uh, crabs in a barrel. And you decided to discard that mentality. So never feel bad for your success. Never feel bad for the positive direction that your life is going into remember all the shit that you went through now okay and also remember that you don't owe nobody shit okay <laughs> so with that being said congratulations on this new success and fuck that whore okay don't talk to her again him again if it's family take some time to just you know just just go ghost if you need to just Get back into the spirit of you. Great things are happening for you. You literally have no time to be worried about people that sit around and talk shit just simply because they miss your energy. That's all it is. They miss your energy. And 
honestly, they did not expect you to go as far as you're going and they didn't expect you to make it. And you did. And they mad. And oh well. <laughs> if you made it this far in the video, please like that or like the video for me and hit that subscribe. All right. Join the vibe. And I will catch you on the next one. Uh, tarot readings are 50% off at this time. I will leave my email link down below. That way you can hit me up if you would like one. I will also leave my Instagram link down below as well. You can hit me in the DM over there. Catch you on the next one. Bye.